Welcome to Argentina. Join us as we travel from Villa La Angostura to San Martin de los Andes along the beautiful Route of 40. We'll be lapping up lake views, mountain views, and some brilliant stakes along the way. During our time in Chile and Argentina, we chose to hire a car from Econo Rent. Um, we picked something with a little bit more ground clearance, a 4x4, because as you can see, some of the roads here are gravel, and you'll see that a lot off the main routes. Um, the roads are gravelly, lots of potholes. You want something with a bit more ground clearance that really is going to work for you, as well as a bit more grunt under the bonnet. So when you're considering hiring a car, make sure you go uh, with something with a little bit more power because of the hills and make sure that you've got ground clearance and preferably 4x4. It's going to cost you a bit more but it really is worthwhile having that. Angostura is your hub for bars, restaurants, supplies, souvenirs and bike hire. It's a small town but really cute. The predominantly wooden buildings and pitched roofs give a hint that this place is a big ski resort in winter. Right in the middle of town is the bus station. You can catch buses easily to Baleloche, San Martin or even across the border to Puerto Montt and Chile from here. Behind me is one of only two ATMs here in Villa La Angostura. Top tip, it charges you 385 Argentinian pesos every time you use it with a foreign card to withdraw cash. Um, the maximum you can withdraw is only 4,000 pesos, so it may be better to come with some cash from your home country and use one of the many bureau to changes here. Down the road from town, about five minutes by car, is Porto Angostura. This little village is the gateway to Parque Nacional Los Arianas. It's easy to organise a boat trip that takes you to the park, which is actually located on a peninsula jutting out into the huge lake. You can walk from the village if you have the time and inclination, but make sure you make time to take in the views of the crystal clear waters from Brava Beach. The vistas are stunning whichever way you look. If you're in the mood for a lunch with a view, it doesn't get much better than the Mirador Social Club. Yes, it's a pain to get to, yes, they are only open for a few hours a day, and yes, you have to book, but the truly awe-inspiring views are totally 100% worth it. We couldn't get enough.
Parente Pitodal simply means pedestrian bridge, but this little piece of paradise is a must stop on the route of 40. The bridge intersects two glorious lakes. The calm waters are bordered by soaring mountains. The crystal clear shimmering waters here are a personal favorite. Steak for dinner, right? Of course, this is Argentina after all. Parilla Chop Chop in Angostura is one of the best. Staff were great here and really passionate about their food. We strongly advise you to make room for provoleta. This traditional dish is simply melted cheese and bacon, but you can't imagine how good it was. After a few juicy chili prawns came the star of the show, cooked on a wood-fired grilled to perfection, the steak. So flavoursome, so tender. It doesn't get much better than this, people. At over 3,000 miles long, the Route of 40 is one of the longest roads in the world. We travelled the Seven Lakes route of it from Angostura to San Martin de los Andes. The drive is about two hours, but you'll want way longer to soak in all the gorgeous vistas along the way. As you can see behind me, it's pretty wet and cold here today. So we're gonna jump in the car, head into town, have a look round and get something for lunch. So let's have a look at the empanadas we picked up. We went for two ham and cheese, one chicken and onion, and one spicy meat. We have no idea which one's which, so I'm just going to grab one and have a look at what's inside. They're nice and warm. I think that's the chicken and onion one. It's quite nicely filled, still quite flaky pastry. Let's give it a try. Looks like there's a bit of leek in there as well. Mmm. That's good. With the weather improved, we headed out of town on the route to 48. The road heads towards and eventually crosses into neighbouring Chile. Passing through indigenous Mapuche land, you'll eventually come to Peninsula de Yuco. Here you'll find three different beaches, each with a different view of the surrounding lake. It was great to be right next to the water here, as a lot of the time the roads hug the mountains high above the lake. Come here and you'll love the scenic serenity.
Right before the border with Chile, we turned off and went to Chachin Waterfall. We parked the car and took a 30 minute walk through the forest up to a viewing platform. Although you're quite far from the falls, you can still hear their thundering power. The gorgeous scenery makes the effort of the gravel road to get here well worth it. Back in town, we had a look round Paraquia San Jose. This little cute church is right in the middle of San Martin on the main road through town. Exploring the town further, there is a small beach area next to the lake where you can find snack vans and boat trips. Further back from the lake area, many shops, supermarkets, restaurants and bars can be found. For our last evening, we booked a table at Domingo Restaurant. Run by a couple, this amazing restaurant is located in an old cottage and serves local ingredients and dishes that you won't find at any other restaurant in town. We arrived early, but this place does fill up, so you need to book. The menu is handwritten on a blackboard, but the chef made time to come and explain each dish and answer any questions we had. He recommended lamb's tongues in mushroom sauce, steak with mushrooms in a pesto sauce, and a chocolate brownie for dessert. Everything was beautifully presented and tasted wonderful. So we are now heading for the Chile-Argentina border. Just a couple of things you should be aware of. If you do plan on taking a hire car across the border, you need to organize some paperwork in advance. It's just a permit that allows you to take the car across the border, but it costs anything between 80 and 180,000 Chilean pesos. Once you're at the border, it's a fairly straightforward process, but you do need to specify which border you intend on using when you apply for the permit. So this is our paperwork for the car and we've just been given a tag to take in. We now need to go through and do our immigration. So this is no man's land in between Argentina and Chile. We're just coming up into the uh, Chilean border control now. So that was a wrap for our time in Argentina. Remember to check out our other Chile videos on Santiago, Valparaiso, Pucon and the wine country. Until next time, happy travels from the memory seekers. <laughs>